Queen's brutal Kate Middleton snub exposed, it's unacceptable. Queen Elizabeth II had grave concerns about Kate Middleton before she joined the royal family, branding her work ethic unacceptable, a book has revealed. Amid claims that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry tried to have their cake and eat it when it comes to royal life, it appears the Duchess of Cambridge was also accused of a similar thing. Kate, who now has a very good relationship with the Queen, dated Prince William for nearly a decade before they finally tied a knot. It was the Queen who, according to Katie Nichols' 2011 book The Making of a Royal Romance, did not want William to propose to Kate until she was employed. In fact, two years before William popped the question, Her Majesty raised concerns about her future granddaughter-in-law. The pair had met several times at formal occasions, but the monarch knew little of the girl who had enchanted her grandson. Ems Nickel wrote, privately, the Queen, had grave concerns and believed that Kate needed to have a job and an identity in her own right before an engagement was announced. She added, the Queen, is one of the hardest working royals, despite her age, and that a future member of the royal family was without a full-time job was unacceptable to her. A source apparently told her, it is Her Majesty's opinion that if Kate is one day going to be William's consort, then she needs a proper job. Swanning from one five-star holiday resort to another is not the prerequisite for a young woman possibly destined to be queen. In this way, the queen wanted Kate to understand that being a member of the royal family is not easy, they have to work hard. She could not enjoy all the benefits of being married to the future king without putting some effort into being a public figure, doing charity work and fulfilling her duty. In this way, she had to accept that she couldn't just sit and wait for William to propose, the Duchess was dubbed Weighty Katie during this time, because she would not just be marrying a man, but marrying into the institution of the royal family. Similarly, the Duchess of Sussex was told that she had to accept everything that comes with royal life, or not at all, and of course, Meghan and Harry have now chosen not at all. The main difference between these two experiences seems to be that Kate was warned about this long before she got married, and so had time to adjust and change her behavior. Meanwhile, Meghan and Harry's romance was far more of a whirlwind, experiencing it in the public eye after just a few months. By the time they got engaged, the Sussexes had not even known each other for two years. However, in Kate's situation, after the Queen decided that she should be doing more, it was suggested to the future Duchess that she got involved with charity work. This led her to start working with Starlight, a charity for terminally ill children. Kate also worked briefly at Fashion House Jigsaw before moving on to work with her family on their business party pieces. In this way, she stepped up her work to reflect what a future Queen consort might be expected to do. Since marrying Prince William, the Duchess of Cambridge has worked very hard attending official engagements on behalf of the royal family, getting involved with many charities and foundations, as well as raising the couple's three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. On the other hand, Meghan was already involved with various causes including women's empowerment before she even met Harry. She carried on this trend when she entered the royal family, championing women's organizations. But according to Princess Diana's former butler Paul Burrell she would have been asked to tone down her beliefs. He told Yahoo UK's Royal Box, what comes with maturity is a set of beliefs and they don't sit well with the royal family. She has to toe the party line. Meghan had previously been vocal on a variety of topics including politics, branding Donald Trump misogynist and divisive. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down as senior royals last month and have now moved to Canada.